Hey, today I'll talk about a new browser I tried. It's called Zen and it's an open source Firefox based browser with a focus on customization and privacy. A unique feature of this browser is vertical tabs, similar to those in the Arc browser, which is based on Chromium. It pretty much feels like an Arc inspired browser. It has a split view, just like Arc, and it also allows you to hide the sidebar with a vertical tabs for an even more compact look. I'll go through the settings of the Zen browser later in the video, but for now, let's talk about compatibility. The cool thing about the Zen browser is that it's supported on all three major desktop operating systems, macOS, Windows, and Linux. For macOS, they offer two versions, one compiled for Intel processors and the other for ARM-based processors. In the Windows and Linux territory, they have both optimized and generic versions. However, the optimized version has a specific set of system requirements, particularly regarding supported processors. By the way, I'll leave a link to the system requirements page in the video description right below the like button so you can check it out. Now the installation of Zen Browser is very straightforward. Just go to this website and I will leave this link in the video description below by the way and then click on download Zen now. Here pick your platform, I will go with the macOS here and I will go with M series architecture. Click on download and you should get .dmg file. I'll click on this file here and you should just basically drag it inside your applications folder. In case if the application doesn't start on your Mac, you guys will have to go to this website and I will also put this link in the video description by the way and you will have to open terminal and paste one of those two commands inside the terminal and press enter. A really cool website which you can also go to is if you go here on getting started you guys can go to release notes and you can check the change log here on the latest release of the Zen browser. So this is how the Zen browser looks like. Now here on top we have maximize, minimize and close buttons. We also have this sidebar on the left and the settings here. Here we also have this clock icon. So if I click on that, you guys can see that we have history basically. Here we have the favorites tab or the bookmarks. And here, if I click on this, you guys can see that we have another window which is called Zen sidebar. And you guys can go, for example, to Google Translate and have this window here on the left and the main one here on the right. If I click on this, it will hide this window. And if I go to this option, so this arrows, you guys can see that we have here more bigger tabs. Now for the split view option, you guys will have to select both of the tabs you want to split view by holding down the command key and then you guys can right click on it and here you can click here split to tabs and you will see that you have now one window or one tab on the one side and the other tab on the other side. Here on top you also have the extensions which I don't have any and on right here you also have these three dots. You can also sign in with your Firefox account I believe and then here you have your passwords and other regular settings from the Firefox browser. Now let's go here to the settings and now the first page is actually called general and here you have a few options for example at the bottom here you have language and appearance you guys can change that to your preference now let's go here to look and feel so basically you can pick a theme for your Zen browser for example I'll click on this green one it looks like this now let's go with this purple or pink one and then we also can enable Zen browser compact mode so what this will do this will hide this tab the window on the left so right now it's hidden I think there is a bug when you cannot activate the bar on the left so this is why I have this feature here disabled so we can always see all the tabs here. Here at the bottom we can also change the button style and we also here have sidebar and tabs layout. So currently we have option don't expand tabs by default. If I click here expand tabs by default this is how it looks like. So you guys can also enable a workspace for example if you click on here you guys can go here to a new profile and here you will see that we have another profile. So this is basically the first page of of the Zen browser. Here we can also go to the keyboard shortcuts and here we have some of default keyboard shortcuts like CMD, Alt plus G. Here you can pretty much set your own keyboard shortcuts. Then for the home, of course, you guys can change that to your preference. Then for the search, you guys can of course pick your default search engine, which is pretty standard for 
for the Firefox browser. Then we have also the privacy and security. Currently we have this to set to standard as default, but you can change that. Now here we also have the sync and we also have new experimental tab, which is called Firefox Labs. And you can enable AI chatbot and pick your preferred chatbot right here. And I believe this will open a brand new window here. So let's try it. So if I disable it and enable it and pick, let's say Google Gemini, you can see here that we have brand new chatbot window here on the left. Now let's talk another really cool feature about the Zen browser, which is actually Team Store. Here, if you go to the Team Store and click on Visit Store here, you will see that Zen browser has a lot of the themes or should I say utilities for the Zen browser. If you click here on color scheme, you guys can just change the color theme of the Zen browser. Let's say I'll go with this one midnight and I will click on install theme and now we should go here to the settings i believe and you can see how things are broken because this browser is still in alpha and hopefully this will be resolved in the next upcoming releases of the zen browser so pretty much you guys can go here to the extensions and themes and pick let's say which one we actually installed i believe this one right here let's enable it so this is how it looks like if you want to use this theme specifically you will have to enable dark mode for the the Zen browser. Let's go back and let's search for some of the utilities. Utilities are really, really cool for the Zen browser. This is the first time I see utilities being added to any kind of browser, really. And here, for example, we have no playing indicator. You guys can see how it looks before and after. So you can see indicator on the left of the bar, which is really cool. And then for the uniform bar, this Zen theme gives you two optional toggles, adjust border around of URL bar, and also send URL text. So let's try this one out. And once you have some themes or utilities installed for your Zen browser, you guys can manage them by going here to the settings. And then you guys can go here to the theme store. And here you'll basically find whatever you have installed from the theme store, like utilities and also themes. For example, here I have uniform URL bar and we can enable that and that. And you guys can see how this URL bar changed. Now here we also have smaller compact mode. So here it's it says that it reduces the height of the tab sidebar while in compact mode and also reduces the minimum width of the tab sidebar. So let's try this one here as well. Now, if I go here to the settings, I will enable here this compact mode. And if I go here, you can see that right now when this Zen utility is installed, you can see that we have even smaller Zen sidebar and it's very easy to uninstall these utilities as well just go to this website and click on uninstall theme and right now we should be back to normal now a few gripes which i have with this browser are that you cannot actually close tab here on the sidebar so this is really annoying so there is not any kind of option to closing the tab by just clicking here you have to right click on it and then click here close tab maybe i'm missing here something so if you know something related to closing the tabs in the Zen browser, please let me know in the comment section down below. So yeah, overall, I think this is a very fluid browser with zero extensions installed out of the box. Keep in mind that this browser is still in alpha and hopefully this will get a stable release very, very soon. And it's really surprising that you can find this browser compatible with all three major desktop operating systems. So this is pretty much it, my insights for the Zen browser. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't already. And with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.